Hey, Groovy Gardeners, just a reminder that our garden is growing not only food, but we can use it to grow seed. You'll notice there's this one kind of somewhat deadish looking plant stuck in the middle of my beautiful Swiss chard. I mean, there's all this lovely Swiss chard, and then there's this plant it's just sitting there. Well, it was a gorgeous, gorgeous, vibrant tatsoi, and it was allowed to go to seed. And I recently, the seed pods were getting really nice and dry, so I snipped them all off. They're in buckets uh, drying back home. But there were still some seed pods on there. So rather than pull the plant out completely, I figured I'd just let it keep on going. But remember, you can use your garden to grow not only yummy food, Swiss chard, but when you get a real beautiful plant, let it go to seed, which actually is what's going on with this here Swiss chard. There was one from last year and I'm letting him go to seed. So what I'll end up with in this plot next year, chances are is a whole bunch of volunteers for Swiss chard and vibrant tatsoi that know my soil, know my climate, know what kind of a gardener I am so they know they're not going to get probably a lot of money spent on them. And they're okay with that. This is their home. So let some of your plants go to seed. Collect the pods before they all break open and scatter everywhere. And get some food for next year. There you go. I bet you didn't know it was that easy, right? Well, okay, you probably did. Anyways, sharing what I'm learning. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Take care. Love you.